What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It's been a while. It's been actually a, not that long, but our last video that we did together was Chicago, right? Jabor versus Yabor versus um, Muguruza. That was actually a really fun match to watch. I'm not going to lie. But we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Welcome to everyone that's new to the stream, and welcome back to anyone that is subscribed to Tweenerhead Tennis. Today we're going to be following along the Anis Mova versus Katrina Scott, two one of the most young and I would on the younger side and most promising side of women's tennis for the Americans. We have the likes of Jennifer Brady, Jessica Pagula, Allison Risk, uh, Maddox Sands at times, but this is the next next gen of women's tennis in my mind. So I wanted to bring this stream to you guys and kind of talk about it and watch it and follow it along because. I feel like it's going to be a really good one to watch, especially with two young talents like these two. So feel free to stick around and watch them with me. Uh, I'm very excited about this. Um, we'll see how it goes. I really don't know who to pick for this one. I'm going to pick Anna Samova just because she went through qualifying and because I think she has a better game than Katrina Scott. But Katrina Scott really is one of the next ones to look out for. I'm not going to lie. She is actually very fun to watch. Not just from her junior days, but when she competes on the WTA level, it's a whole nother ball game, in my opinion. I have to find my computer, because I need that. There we go. I'll be right back. I have to grab my computer. I'm back. Don't worry. We haven't left. I know this is not the biggest of matches to stream, but I, I want to watch this one. I think it's going to be a good one for that fact. I think this will be the first time they're playing against each other, too. So, we'll see. See if I can pull it up on my stream. And Tiafo's playing pair. I should have done that one, too. I felt like I haven't done a lot of women's matches, so I want to do this one. Savage, uh, that's another good one. Zang, Fretch. We do not have the answer of the match on. I'm livid. I also like how Benoit Pair is now sponsored by a company called Be Normal. Can we just talk about that for a hot second? Okay, it looks like the Anisimova match is coming on after um, Nishikori and Souza. I wonder if we should... I wonder. It's only one... Two? This should be an interesting one, to say the least. Oh, I have no internet? Great. Tiafo, I think, is having a decent year. Had some good results. Everyone play that dinosaur game when it says no internet on Chrome. It's a fun one to watch. He 
He's almost made a million dollars in 2021. Oh, Francis is rich, rich. Tiafo six and three in. Let's see, tournament history five appearances. Best appearance was in the round of sixteen. Can you please, for fuck's sake? The hardest part about this is just getting everything set up. Yep, but if you guys do enjoy watching me do these live streams, feel free to hit that like button. And we just got something new today. We just got membership. So what a membership is, you join and you pay monthly. And it's only for my membership, if you want to join, it's only 99 cents. And you get access to new emotes, early access to videos. So it's just very simple stuff just to help me grow as a content creator and grow as a... Uh, tennis youtuber as well so if you want to join the new membership there's a little join button at the bottom next to the subscribe button which should already be gray by the way the only way to turn it gray is by hitting it um but yeah i have new membership now this is kind of cool i've never had this before so it's kind of a big step in my youtube career so i'm actually very excited about it um so if you would like to join it there's no pressure feel free to join it's only 99 cents Which I think is a decent deal. It's less than a pack of gum. Let's see, what's the score of the Nishikori Soza match? Because that's the only one that's coming up after. I hate this. I actually hate this. This is very annoying. I hate the Tennis Channel app. It's the worst streaming app ever. It, I'm not even going to lie. It, it probably is. Tennis Channel. YouTube Live Dashboard. It's very annoying. So the fact that I have to deal with it every time I want to watch just a singular match and not have it on Tennis Channel really pisses me off to a degree. And I and I will say that every single time I put on a stream for you guys. Every every single time you can count on me saying some stupid things. Not stu I wouldn't say no. Not stupid things. All well, stupid things as well. But you can count on me to say that Tennis Channel is Of course, the one match that we... Oh my god, get it over with. Okay, he's up. Okay, I guess we're getting fishers. really don't know what to say. I guess it's just because it hasn't started yet, but I like talking to you guys a little bit beforehand. So if you guys want to ask any questions, if you want to just chat about your day, my day was okay. I purchased both Apple and YouTube. I hate. It's just. When I was a kid, was I that annoying? When you teach kids, there's a certain level of like, okay. There's an extent to how much you can take, but then after a while, how do you get them to listen? Is that what it's like being a parent? Oh my God. Was I like, oh. And this is just a total joke, but the best birth control from what parents have told me, is seeing other kids misbehave. You know, they're not wrong. <laughs> it's also very annoying. You know what I mean? Jeez. 
Cheers. Oh my god, Astra Sharma beat Donna Vekic. That's sick, Gary. Marcus Giron with a good win over Botic Van Zimbelisif. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, Patrick Reagan from Tennis Portal on too, showing off his skills. I love it. I love how Patrick wears a matching kit too. match over yet. Wow, that's crazy. Maxine Cressy, good win. Like how viral video oh Siniakova beat oh my god. That's such a weird score. Kim Kleister's return to the tour is still not going great. Lost to Sinyakova. Sinyakova, good win. I mean, that's a good player. So it's not like it was a bad performance. She lost in three sets, but... Oh, look, it's Courtney Mazza. Hi, babe. Do you want to become a member? And thanks for starting the chat. <laughs> What other notable scores have been happening? Okay, so Nishikori won. So this match should be getting underway soon. Let me see what other scores happened today. And I'm looking at them through the Download Tennis app. Thank you to them for allowing us to use this platform and this scoring format to show you guys live match. Live match everything. So I really appreciate it. Um, this is... Honestly, they didn't pay me. They're just allowing me to use it. So I really do appreciate them allowing me to use it. Let's see. Tournaments. Let's look at... Tiafoe's already up to love. Lauren Davis just started. A lot of matches just started. Let's see scheduled or completed. Let's see completed. Maxine Cressy won. Marcus Giron won. Guido Pella beat Su Wu Kwan. Sangren beat Montero. Mackenzie McDonald uh, beat James Duckworth. James Duckworth is on a roll late, lately, too, so that's a good win for him. Taro Daniel won. Jamie Munar lost. Popper beat Ketsmanovic. Daniel Altomare beat Sam Query pretty easily, too, 6 2, 6 4. Astro Sharma beat Vekic in three. Sunyakova beat Kleisters in three. Trevizan beat Buskova in three. Gulubic actually beat Vondrasova. Savastava beat Hercock 3 6 6 2 6 love. That's another WTA scoreline that we. That just happens. Kirillina Garcia won in three. Yastremska won. Anna Kanju won. Another Croatian to look out for on the women's side. And surprisingly enough, Leila Fernandez played doubles with Coco Goff this tournament, and they won their opening match 1 and 1. Holy crap, they dominated. Rybicki and Kudermetova won their doubles match. That's a good doubles pairing. Maddox Sands is playing doubles again with Triantec. That's a fun pairing as well. Halep and Roos, actually, both Romanian, won their opening doubles match against the seven seed. That's actually very impressive. Wow. Not much else happening. Scheduled after these matches... Allison Risk is playing. Davidovich Fokina is playing. Steve Johnson. 
Claire Liu versus Kellen Skaya. Pospisil versus JJ Wolf. That's a really fun one to watch. Um, if you guys are still up for it, I highly recommend you watch that. Um, Meyer Sharif is starting at 920. That's going to be a fun one. She's also a very good player to watch. As an Egyptian and being one of the only Egyptian women on tour inside the top 200, it's awesome to see her doing well. Uh, Arconada qualifier playing Tom Lanovich. Arconada just won, a, I believe it was a 60 or 80K tournament. So that's a huge momentum there for her. Let's see who else. Nicole Melikar and Demi Schurz playing Roos and Petschke. Um, and yeah, that's about, honestly, that's about it. A lot of action happening, but a lot of it been happening for a very long time. But the problem is, it's just, it's just annoying. It's just, it's just annoying the time change. So for me, all I'm trying to do is just, well, I like it like this because I get to do it after work. But if it's like during the day in Europe. I never have time to do any of it unless I have the morning off, which I rarely do, which is stupid. God, I, my, I feel like my whole lower body hurts all the time. Let's see. Just because you show your proof of vaccination doesn't mean you shouldn't, like, wear a mask. Are we just, like... Is that, like, still a thing? Are we still going to talk about that? Or no? We're just going to leave it alone. Because, honestly, I, I, I personally don't care. Do what you want to do. But I'm still wearing masks when I go into restaurants and stuff. It's just weird. It's just really weird. Let's see... Let's see, TikTok tennis. Wow, Sloan Stevens actually won her match. So did Madison Keys. That's huge. It's actually huge for them. Everyone smile for Instagram. Got to post, got to post it to Twitter too and YouTube. So, turn my Wi-Fi off so maybe it runs better. Let's see. Nothing yet. They're doing the on-court interview with Kay now. So hopefully they'll be on in like 10. Babe, what's on your face? This is the point where there's nothing really to talk about. So I encourage you guys to ask me a question or just say something random in the, random in the chat. That's all I got. Sharing it to all my platforms. Copy link. Facebook. Also, let's talk about how face like Facebook everything just almost deleted itself. 
Can you imagine that? Just disappeared out of nowhere. Too. Like, you think Zuckerberg would be on top of the shit? But no. the guy's worth like over a billion dollars, and the guy still doesn't know how to reset his entire server of California. The guy still doesn't understand what's going on. Live, 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 live. It would be great. What would be great, Court? Oh, now we got to change out the signs. We change out the entire net? The fuck? I guess they have to if they want to just do it. Uh My god. How hard is it to like put a match on? Oh my god. I am so sorry. This is taking forever, guys. I'm so sorry. This is just super annoying. I just don't understand. Did I move my chair? No. Where would I move it to? I literally can't move an inch. Question. For those of you that watch soccer, some of you may, some of you may not. What are the odds the U.S. men lose to Jamaica today? Oh, Pear's already called the trainer, too. Nice. It's amazing how obsessive you are. <laughs> it's amazing how many people were obsessing over the Newcastle takeover today. Oh, U.S. is up 2-0. That guy's 18? Jeez. Wish I was athletic at 18.
Also, Andy Murray lost his wedding ring today. I don't know how he did that. Well, he tied it to his shoe, didn't he? He tied it to his shoe and then lost his shoes. So, therefore, he lost two very important things to him. Why? Don't know. Where did he find them? I have no idea. Did I read it? Briefly. Lol. Even more people having trouble with Tennis Channel. That's so much fun. We're having fun. Let's try it again. Okay. It's better. It's better. Stream is better. Oh, it froze again. Can the match just start? Why is it? Why are we waiting this long? Also, welcome to everyone that's in coming into the chat. I really appreciate that. Um, hopefully, we will get the Anna Samova versus Katrina Scott soon. But the way everything... Oh, they're moving to the court. Thank God. Oh, I found my water bottle. That's good. I have to put in the headphones. Good, and the sound's not working either. That's awesome. That's awesome. 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 Nothing works, does it? Nothing ever just works. Good. So every time I refresh it, it just lags even more. That's fantastic. I have to get my charger. Stupid. Computer. Because obviously it's not charged. Obviously this isn't playing. Because why not? Why would we need this? Why would we need sound, right? Why would we need sound? I'm going to go to a different type of stream and see. I uh, haven't used this platform in so long. It is, it's extremely empty, Michael. I, I just noticed that for the first time. It's extremely empty. It's extremely empty and very weird. 
Like, I don't know how I feel about it. Why? Adventure Channel sucks! Katrina Scott is 17, the fuck? Still no sound, that's awesome. That's sick. I wonder if I tried on a different browser. That would work. You know, maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's just a different browser that we need. Michael, what are your initial thoughts on, um... What are your initial thoughts on, um... What's your initial thoughts on Indian Wells so far? Indian Wells looks as busy as the Chinese tournaments in the early stage. Ooh. That's a tough statement. It it kind of does feel like that, though. Like, no one shows up, and then all of a sudden, in the last four days, it's like, oh, people are interested. That's what I don't get, though. Like, It's just, it's just to me, they wanted to push this so badly, but then they did, and no one's here. You know, it like, why would you push it this far? So, apparently Tennis Channel doesn't work on Google Chrome. It just works on Safari. Here we go, guys. It's about damn time. Yeah, but when I put it in my headphones, it doesn't work. Where's the thing? Where's the thing? How much was the average price, Michael? Do you know? Also, it's currently Love 40 within the first, like, six minutes. Wow, that was the fastest game I've ever seen in my life. Experience really does help in this scenario. Also, the fact that Anasimova is still 20 and she's playing someone that's younger than her is crazy to me. Wow. Anasimova running her rampant right now. Seventeen. That serve. They need to lower the price of everything. Just because it's in California doesn't mean you have to price everything four times as high. Ooh! Oh! Oh! That's the biggest sign of nerves I've ever seen in my life! Ooh! Katrina Scott just had the biggest shank I've ever seen. So ugly. Does anyone else think that Ansimova reminds them of Maria Sharapova? Or is that just me? Wow. Look at that crowd. 
Love 30. Interesting. Love 30, though. Very nervy. Very nervy. Eleven grand? What are they, the Lafer Cup? Wouldn't you also want an angled seat, Michael, rather than courtside so you're not just going like this the entire time? Game point, Asimova coming back from Love 30 down. Oh, what's up, David? Welcome. Haven't seen you on my live stream. Technically, she is Russian. That's very true, Daniela. True, but also the stadiums are built very differently compared to Indian Wells in here. I think Anna Samova does have some killer instinct. You have to remind our we have to remind ourselves that Anna Samova is still twenty, and she made the semifinals of Roland Garros. She's already done more than most players have done at her age. So we still have a lot going on for her. She, she had a big setback after she lost her father, so thoughts and prayers to her. But it's still like, there is so much upside for this girl. Just so clean at ball striking. 2-0 already. I'd rather go to the Rome in general. Not even just for tennis, just in general. Thank you again to everyone that's coming into this live stream. I really do appreciate it. We, I just wanted to let you know that we do have something new going on right now. We have the new membership. We now have membership for the channel. Um, it's 99 cents, and it allows you new emotes, early access to videos, very simple stuff, but it's just another way to connect with me and the Tweenerhead Tennis community. So if you want to join, the membership button is right next to the subscribe button. It says join. If you want to do that, feel free. Just letting you guys know. And it's right next to the red subscribe button, but it should be gray because you should be subscribed to Tweenerhead Tennis. Just letting you know. That's so good. Wow, she tested positive too. Yeah, Indian Wells is in the middle of F and nowhere. Just letting everyone know. It's beautiful, and trust me, there there is stuff to do, but unless you're going to just go out every night, not that much else. 40-15. 17, she looks like she's 20. And Anastomova's pretty damn tall. So, Katrina Scott, almost, it's crazy. Because the ball is too small. That's the only reason. Interesting. Great serve by Katrina. Good serve. 
How do you look 17, look like you're going on 30? The fuck? Good hold for Katrina Scott. She has the opportunity to get a game back here off her serve. That'd be huge for her. Momentum shift. Just mental state as well. Just being able to get a game off her. Oh, wow. Nice rally between the two. Good defense from Katrina Scott. Ansimova comes to net. Katrina Scott, great lob, backhand volley. Very nice. Katrina Scott gets away with that. Great shot. What experimental thing are you talking about? Hey, Alfred, welcome, dude. Good to see you, bud. Thank <laughs> nah, don't worry about it, man. It's all good. Just glad to have you here, bud. Uh, Daniela, what are you talking about? What experimental thing? I don't know what you mean by that, but from 4015, Katrina Scott is now in a hold right here. Deuce. Michael. <laughs> he is probably one of the most athletic guys on tour in terms of physical attributes. Physical specimen. What's the word I'm looking for here? He is just very physically fit compared to other players. Like, players are in shape, but Tiafo's like, a whole nother level in shape. Scott drops two game points and now back to Deuce. Break point again. Nerve showing right now for Katrina. Even tight on that second serve. Her second serve is barely even making it to the service line. And Asimova is just all over it. Even the crowd on that second serve return just went, oh, because Asimova just fucking crushed that thing. No, it's okay, man. Don't don't worry about it, Danielle. It's okay. But you mean the COVID shot? Is that what you're talking about? No, it's um what's her name? Um Dr. J's daughter talking about uh, Rafa's butt. Very different. Wasn't John Macaro it was the girl from the US Open. And we talked about her before. Asimova just all over Katrina Scott's serve. Nice. It's too good. Back to Deuce. Yeah, she should have beaten Plushkova in New York. Um, the semifinal against Barty, that was Roland Garros, right, David? I feel like that's a different, that's like a, well, she was what? That was what, two years ago, three years ago, two years ago? Not experimental if it's the, it's the COVID vaccine. I wouldn't call that experimental, Daniela. Scott's really having trouble holding her serve right now. Going from two game points up from 40-15 to saving two break points from Anasimova. She's playing good defense and making Anasimova work for it, but it's not going to help her if she's going to be on her back foot the whole time. Anasimova is putting that ball deep into the court. Wow, Anasimova with a drop shot. Katrina Scott, fellow drop shot. <gasps> wow, great hands. That's a tough ball. You can't say that's an unfortunate mistake. That's a tough ball for her to get off that short cross-court drop shot from Katrina Scott. FAA is a fantastic buddy.
Yeah, you're starting to become worse than the what's her Dr. J's daughter from ESPN, Michael. All right, Danielle. I I don't want to get I don't want to get into this COVID vaccine stuff. I'm vaccinated, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'd rather just stick to tennis or anything else besides COVID and anything else. Sorry, Danielle. That's just good hold from Katrina, though. But yeah, let's just let's just keep it away from COVID. Let's just keep it away from anything that can bring the mood of this chat down. Um, everyone has their different opinion, so let's try to keep it to tennis, guys. Good hold from Katrina. Really proving everybody that she still can have the ability to hold. Very good from her. Now 1-2. And I can't say for the American because they're both American. Who's the other announcer in this Tennis Channel broadcast, David? Do you know? Because I'm on Tennis Channel Plus, and I feel like I do not know this this uh, this person's voice. So I'm trying to figure it out now, and I can't figure it out. All right, Daniela. Okay. Again, let's just try to keep it to tennis, Daniela. Oh, yeah, 100%. I remember that photo. Felix just looks like he has at least 20 pounds on him. Good hold. Thank you again to everyone that's in the chat right now. I really do appreciate it. If you are enjoying this video, if you are enjoying this content, feel free to hit that like button. We'll try, let's try to get this uh, video to five likes. Um, there's 11 of you in this uh, watch party right now, but only three of you have liked it. So make sure you hit that like button. Let's try to get this to video to five likes. And newsflash, we added membership to the channel. Just want to remind everyone of that. It just gives you emojis of myself in things that I've created, early access to videos, and possibly we're going to have other tiers, but hopefully with new membership, we'll have a lot more perks once we get along if it does work out. So if you want to check it out, feel free to hit that join button. It's only 99 cents. So if you feel like you want to support the channel in a, in a different way, feel free to hit that uh, join button right next to the subscribe button, which should be gray, which means you're already subscribed to Tweener and Tennis. subscribe you don't have to join if you want to but if you want to that would be awesome I have no eyebrows right now what I look away and it hasn't even started here on the channel and it's already 40 love yeah was that your first one or second one, Michael? And I got Moderna. Oh, that backhand up the line is so good from Anna Samova. Katrina Scott got relaxed, but she's down 40-15 on and some of sir. Good serve. Three one and a Samova. Wow. Oh wow, why'd you Michael, do you mind if I ask why you got it so late? One for Anna Samova. <laughs> oh, okay, that. Sorry, just testing out the microphone. I just had to turn it.
Good serving performance from Anasimova in this one. Interesting, that's weird. Terrible overhead. Wow, what a return by Anisimova. Samova literally hitting the fuzz off the ball. Double break point for Samova right here. Eight winners for Samova. Four one already. Oh wow. Did I see this coming? Sort of. That's crazy. That second serve is not helping Katrina Scott. Wow. Katrina Scott is not doing a bad job defensively. Oh, what a drop shot from Anna Samova. Scott's there, but Anna Samova puts it away. It's amazing because it's not even that bad of defense. It's not even bad defense. It's just she's standing at the Indian Wells logo on the court. And it's just moving her over and over and over again. Just the constant pushing of Anna Samova is really putting Katrina Stott back on her heels. And I don't think she's doing that bad defensively, but she's giving Anisimova free shots when she is only putting that ball probably in foot past the service line. Like, that return's just insane by Anisimova for 4-1. Good music. Can't share it though, it's copyrighted. Do you know what I find interesting? And Michael, you might, there's two things. Uh, first one I wanna point out, I was wondering, and I posted this question on Twitter earlier uh, tonight was if Nishikori won the U.S. Open in 2014 against Chilich, would that have changed the course of tennis in a way? Because I feel like with Chilich winning the U.S. Open, and re no one really talks about him. They just know him as a former Grand Slam champion and didn't really do anything since. And while he's won a lot before, after the U.S. Open, I don't think I know, knew him to do anything else. Right? 
if Nishikori won, would there be any difference in the tennis world if he did? Also, Anasimova is up 30, love. Holy crap. How long have we been streaming for? Like 20 minutes? Yeah. Michael, we have this conversation every single time you come on. Yes, we get it. Serena was more ripped than Osaka at her age. Also, 40 love, and Samova. Holy crap. Even the final, Michael? That's crazy. Really? Why do you say that, Michael? And some of us only won 17% of her points on her second serve. Again, she's won 100% on her first. Insane. Forty thirty, Katrina Scott slowly coming back in this game. Wow. Five one. That's literally insane. Does Katrina Sh Scott have a shot in this match? Got it. Love 15. I think that's good point construction. Hits it low to Anasimova at the net. Flicks it and then goes up the line. Like that's what she, that's, that's good. That's good. Is there a reason why Tennis Channel is only panning over to the same four people? Because no one's in the stands. Yeah, but what what has Chilich done after he won the Open? Riddle me that, Batman. Riddle me that, Michael. Triple break point and triple set point for Anasimova right now. Holy crap. Yeah, they had stuff on their resume, though, Michael. Like, they they had the chance to do that. What a fucking return. And that's the first set. Oh, my God. I really... I really don't know what to say at this point. I'll be right back, guys.
All right. I'm trying to think here. Does Anna Samova still have a shot? Uh, Scott still have a shot. Off to a flying start for Anna Samova. 40 15. 40 15. This is insane. And Samova is just literally overpowering Katrina Scott right now. Wow. See, when Katrina hits it deep and is actually in control of the ball, she does a lot better. But then again, it's 1 0 in a Samova. I just feel like I like watching K play better. Or not ready. I like watching K play more than Chilich. I guess that's just my personal preference. Love 15 already. Thirty one minutes and we're already in the second set like this. Love thirty and a Samova. Dear God. I really have no words for this. Just an absolute dominating performance from Anna Samova. Twenty seven minutes for the first set. And Samova had fifteen winners to eight unforced errors. Double more than double the amount of points that Katrina Scott won. All right, Michael. Fair enough. Yeah, Katrina Scott was a huge junior. You can't just say that she was an awesome junior and now it's not translating onto the onto the WTA tour. Yeah, but she's 17. She can she can still qualify for junior tournaments while she's playing on the WTA tour. That's what's crazy about this. Don't just leave it at, she was such a good junior player. She's still a junior! The fuck? Trina's got trying to find any momentum in this match. Screaming at, screaming, come on. Coming back from 1542. Get another breadstick right here. That'd be huge. Oh my god, what a return.
honestly, why wouldn't you just... At this point, if I know this is happening, why wouldn't you just moonball it? Why don't you just make her hit outside of her strike zone, which is literally where you're hitting it to every single fucking time? Go high. Go low. Hit a slice. I don't think I've seen one slice from her. I don't think Ansmov has broken a sweat yet. Good serve from Katrina Scott. Katrina Scott holds. All right. On serve for the first time in this match. Not bad. Also, all of you in the chat have voted no for Katrina Scott coming back from this. Like, her second serve is barely even getting over the net. Trina Scott also looks like she's exhausted. And it's barely... Been... People in our box are texting. They're not even watching the match. That was close. Francis Tiafo won 4-4 four four against Benoit. See, there's a slice. And some of them really just switched it up and hit like a super spinny tops in forehand. Oh, yeah, dude. They're totally best friends. Go up the line. Wow, good shot from Katrina Scott. Like, we're seeing flashes of what she can do, but not put it in, like, five straight points. Game point for Anasimova, though. See, she, great point, does that. Again, showing her experience right there, 17 years old. 2-1 and Samova. Love this sweater. Get you a girlfriend that falls asleep to your voice. Shout out to Courtney for watching this stream. I love you, babe. Completely out. Why wouldn't people want to watch this match?
wonder how loud the music is too with this many empty seats. The echoing must be insane. How do you focus on that? I can barely focus when I have an umpire yelling in my ear. How do you focus with loud music? Like if it's not a song that you like either. It's a commercial now too. The amount of dedication that you have to have. Looks like Ansimova is meditating as well. Very underrated when you do it during your changeover. Fifteen all. Also, they're screaming Lizzo into this stadium right now. Do you know what's crazy? The ball kids are probably her age. The ball kids are probably Katrina Scott's age. Like that kid right there, right there, probably his age. Her age, sorry. Michael, they are not best friends and you know it. Oh my God, what a freaking return. Thirty all though. Possibly another hold for Katrina Scott. What was that whale? Hit a slice. Hit a king slice. Break point in a smova. You can't do that. 3 1. There it is. There's the break. I know, uh, Todd, that's a very good point. A lot of people, uh, they were talking about that earlier on the uh, broadcast. Like, Anna Samova was up so. She was up a decent amount, and then she lost it to Pushkova. Like Pushkova could have possibly choked that as well. No way. There's no way that they're friends like that. I don't believe you. Like, Anna Samova just looks dialed in. She's probably one of Katrina Scott's fastest serve, even though it was out 113 miles an hour out wide. 30 love, Anna Samova. Like that. Oh! <laughs> like, Katrina Scott has no idea what's going to go on. Kick serve high to her backhand. What What do you think is going to happen? That's annoying. For oh, yeah. This just went downhill real fast. 40 love, Anna Samova. I don't know if I could say this because of like the difference in ranking and experience, but this is probably the most dominating match I've ever seen someone go against another opponent. 6-1-4-1 right now. Thank you, Michael. 
Um, oh, 100%. 100%. It, in, for me, when she made that semifinal in Roland Garros, uh, Todd, and she lost to Barty, that, that for me was the defining moment that I knew Anna Samova was going to be special on tour. She's had uh, some rough patches ever since, but she, for me, she's probably one of the most talented Americans on tour. And if we put her, Pagula, and who's the other one I just mentioned earlier? Her, Pagula, Jennifer Brady together on that, um, on that Billie Jean King Cup, former Fed Cup, uh, na former named Fed Cup. Uh, team, I feel like that's going to be such a dominating trio right there. Add Sloan Stevens, maybe Bethany Maddox Sands, Nicole Melikar. Like we have decent players, just depends on the day that they want to show up. That was just so dominating. Guys, I really do appreciate everyone that's in the stream right now. Thank you again for joining me and just following along on this match. If you are new to the channel, hey, how's it going? This is where we get to talk about and ch sh talk about and share tennis as much as we can on and off the court. And more casual environments to kind of give your opinion on it. So if you want to stick around longer, feel free to hit that like button. We're trying to get this video to five likes. There's 11 of you in here. There should be at least five likes. Just need two more people to do that. And then... If you want, we just added, um, but before I say that, feel free to subscribe as well to stay around a little bit longer, and you'll get an extra greeting. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Tweenerhead Tennis. So make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on. I also want to point out that we added something new to the channel. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but we added memberships. Yes, memberships, and that's a huge step forward in growing this channel. We... If you want to join the memberships and kind of see what it's about, it's only 99 cents. If you want to, feel free to do it. You don't have to if you want, but it gives you exclusive emojis, early access to videos, and hopefully we're going to have more tiers moving on soon. So hopefully that works, um, and I'll add a lot more accolades that you can achieve and just add to. So I really do appreciate it. And thank you again for getting this video to five likes. I knew you guys could do it. Now the next step. 10 likes. Let's see if we can do that. Um, they aren't showing this match on Tennis Channel. Guess I'll pay for TC Plus for $109. Holy crap, they aren't? That's right. I'm, wa I'm watching this on TC Plus. Um, Patrick McEnroe played against Agassi. I can imagine that. Um, yeah, but it's not like... It wasn't like this. Was it? I don't think it was. It wasn't like this. It wasn't like this bad. Simply Tennis, what's up, dude? Welcome back, guys. Thanks again for joining. Love 40 already. Like, this is... At the pace this is going, we're going to finish it in under an hour. That's how, that's how, like, dominant it is and how fast it's going. What's new, Simply Tennis? Like, I think this match is going to be under an hour. Anna Samova wins this next. Solid player. Definitely try to get her way out of that doping or PEDs thing that she tried to do. Her father was trying to make her her boyfriend take the blame for it and say it was, like, sexually transmitted in some way. 5-1 in Samova, by the way. This match is over. Um, but that's just... She's a good player. I interviewed her. She's very nice. She's very lovely. Um, her relationship with Sasha Bajin was very short. Don't think that was a good pairing for them. I think she's a really good player. I definitely think she's another young person to watch out for. She's kind of in the same boat as Anna Samova in that sense, like such a hard-hitting ball striker. But we now have more younger girls that are like Coco Golf, Clara, Clara Tossin, and um, so many others that are kind of in that same boat of ball striking and power. 
But I still I still think Yastrzemska does have a lot of upside. Um, she just mentally needs to focus on what she can do. Also, she has music. It's... Don't know how I feel about it. It's in Ukrainian. No idea what it means. Couldn't even look up the lyrics for it. Or translate them. But she does have music out. Who won the Rome final? Was that Plushkova or was that Zvitolina? Fifteen all. Um, simply, that's a good point. I mean, he's proving himself to be a more diverse player. Um, I definitely think that fifteen thirty. I definitely think that Rude is definitely getting to that level of Rublev and Berrettini and all these guys that are in the top ten. Even Hercats as well. I definitely think they he's getting he has more of an upside right now moving forward. Oh my god, you're right, Iga. Coco yeah, no, Go Coco Goff is definitely more than ball striking. Um Iga, yeah. Yeah, Plushkova lost. Thank you guys for correcting me on that. That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. Yeah, that that was bad. That's all. I wouldn't say almost as bad. It's bad. It's just bad. Period. And I'm gonna say this was bad. Period. Thank you guys. <laughs> she did lose. Thank you for correcting me on that. I appreciate that. 40-30 right now. Deuce! Saved a match point, Katrina Scott. Not bad. Yeah, but that's... Like, I don't I don't think Plushkova's going to ever win a major. I'm sorry. I, I think she's going to be one of those that ended up like Yelena Yankovic or Darina Safina, who never... Who had a good, great career. Was number one in the world. Never won a major. That's just my opinion. I don't... I just don't think Plushkova has it. Simply don't start. <laughs> Thank you, Simply. I do appreciate that. Um, we're trying to be inclusive about Novak fans. We're trying. As long as there's no... obscene comments about it. <laughs> Thank you. I really do appreciate that, though. Um, thankfully, you weren't here for the vaccine talk. It was me, the black... <laughs> oh, my God. That's game, set, match. Holy shit. Well, okay, then. Damn. Started at 9.30. Finished in an hour. That's hysterical. Um. <laughs> Other sport challenge. You mean the golf challenge, Todd? Like way back when. When they did a golf uh, tennis challenge thing. I saw that. That was a funny commercial. They used to have much better tennis commercials back in the day. What is this? Why is that there? I have a tag. Meh. And on the second match point, Anastomova converts. Very simple, very efficient, very easy. Oh, God. That's weird. Novak being teamed like that on clay? Damn. Thank, simply, I agree. Thank you. Uh, I think that's... There's a lot of fanatics that kind of agree with Djokovic without looking into it as much, but I feel like Katrina Scott is 
Looks like she's about to cry. She knows what just happened. And I agree. It's it's bigger than it's bigger than the sport. And I think that's what we need to do. Oh yes, Georgiana Samova. I wonder if I can stream that. That would be such a good match to stream. You're right, Todd. Um, but hopefully, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this stream. I really hope you guys enjoyed your time here. Um, if you want to stick around longer, feel free to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on so that way you don't miss any new live streams that we're doing or any new content that I'm posting, too. We post a lot of different content here, draw previews, match play, interviews, everything like that you can find here at Tweenerhead Tennis. Um, but if you want to support the channel even more, we have memberships. So if you want to hit that join button too, it's only 99 cents. Feel free to do that. You get exclusive bitmojis. You get exclusive emojis. You get early access to videos. And we're going to have more tiers soon. And you'll be the first ones to get access to it as a member. But I hope everyone has a great day. I hope everyone has a great rest of your evening. Um, is Anna Samova crying? Um, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it.